right, all right, episode 12. Building up the archive for the YouTube channel. Uh, I must say it feels pretty good. Uh, I got a little lighting set up here. Things are moving slowly. I think my next big purchase is gonna be a nice microphone. Uh, I just got one of those cheap, uh, what do you call it, cats or whatever on my camera, but for now it'll work. I went out to downtown Denver again, and uh, I seem to be in the groove this time. I was uh, picking up and noticing things and moments before they happened, which is always a good feeling. Um, yeah, yeah, things were just coming along nicely there. Um, Liam and uh, Carrie were doing a video while I was walking, so I was kind of walking with them at times and then kind of walking behind them as they did their interview. Um, but uh, yeah, a lot of stuff going on uh, that I picked up and I'm pretty happy with the photos I'll show you. Uh, later on we get some crazy ass rain, it just started raining for like an hour. <laughs> Um, I did get some good moments of people hiding and that kind of thing, but uh, man, I've never seen it rain that hard in Denver before, so it was pretty wild. Um, but yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. I'm going to show you the, 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 the video now, and I'll do a little commentary uh, over it. And uh, if you like what you're watching, if you haven't yet, please hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps me out. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya. Okay, so I'm starting the day by seeing this family cross the street holding these plastic chairs. Thought it was a good moment to document. Kind of a warm up shot, but also kind of a nice uh, quirky moment to photograph. I'm actually heading, um, I always forget the name of this bridge, but it's the main bridge that goes, connects downtown. And uh, now I'm at the fountains at Union uh, Station. I'm just kind of working the scene See this guy with his arms crossed, I thought that was interesting, so I went for it. Um, it needed a little something more in the left hand part of the frame, but not a bad photo overall. And I started to just sit on this bench here and just capture these kids playing in the, in the water. Um, at this point, everybody knows that I'm shooting, I'm just hanging out and um, taking my time. I'm not really chatting with anyone, but I'm also just being very casual and nonchalant. And, uh, yeah, I'm able to capture basically what I want. Oh, uh, you see the little girl run by with her balloons on her head. There's a guy that does these uh, balloon animals in Denver, and um, I'll try to figure out, well, I'll, I'll link to his uh, Instagram for you, because um, I'm sure he'd appreciate the business. And he's a good, he's a good uh, artist. He does some fun little uh, hats and like and little toys and things for the kids, for the balloons. This one I made black and white, I just like the way the light looked as, uh, as she ran by. But um, I'm normally not this patient, I'm just noticing there's a lot going around around me, so I'm just going to hang out for a little bit. I'm in no rush, and I'm trying to time it where I can layer people, uh, have people in the foreground, middle ground, and background, that kind of thing. Doesn't always work, but uh, the more people that I can have in the frame and, and show in a clear way, I think it tells a better story. And I'm doing this more and more too, I'm trying to uh, show more um, of a story aspect rather than just having one person cross the frame, I'm having trying to show multiple pe people doing activities or show, show, showing some sort of emotion, that kind of thing. Uh, I do land on this photo right here, I find this was a good group of people, they were all uh, spaced out, these kids. Um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much what I'm doing right now. Um, as you'll see coming up, uh, Steve, the balloon guy, does make an appearance and I, I chat with him and I actually uh, send him some of these photos. There he is, front page talent. I'm, uh, I'm showing him my Instagram right now. Oh, and then what I'm doing here is uh, he's kind of backlit with these, uh, with these kids you'll see in a second here, so I'm trying to silhouette this uh, scene here. Basically just exposing for the fountain area and looking specifically for gestures because that really stands out as a silhouette. Trying to get some separation going. Yep, and I got that finger point from the little girl.
family sees me photographing them and they're, and they're not saying anything, so I'm assuming it's fine. Again, the way I approach scenes is I'm very casual and confident, like I'm, you know, supposed to be there. I'll chat with them if I feel it's necessary or if I just feel I'm up to it. Um, but I didn't want to disturb the scene, I just kind of let it play out and, and photograph from distance. And again, I'm in no rush, I'm just waiting for something interesting to happen in front of my camera. One other thing that I want to mention, and I notice myself doing this more and more, is when I'm out there shooting, I will walk with a smile on my face. I just puts me in a good mood and puts people around me in a good mood. And I'm just having fun, and and then people see that they feed off that energy, and it generally goes very well for me. I don't never get any confrontation. Um, I'll get approached here and there when people asking, but it's never anything like threatening. Oh, this was interesting. I see this guy go by in the scooter, and I see his buddy over here, and I knew I was trying to line up their arms and then and the scooters, and it worked perfectly. Um, that's what I'm talking about, seeing things happen before they occur. Just the more you're out there shooting, the more that you can pick up on little details. I think my first, the first thing that I see right away when I'm shooting is color and light. Uh, as you see here, this guy had his laundry, uh, laundry dry cleaning, and then the couple in front of them were holding hands. <clears throat> he actually walked in front of me for a little while, and I followed him to the next block for a patch of lights, and uh, got in there as well. And then this bus rolls by here in a second. Uh, it actually matches the, the woman in the red. But again, I'm in no hurry. I'm just taking my time. This screen on the X-Pro3 really comes in handy too because you can get those nice waist level shots. Wish I got a little more pop of red on the bus, but overall it's not bad. I got the lights in there and, uh, and, and both uh, the guy with the dry cleaning and the, and the couple in front. Yep, notice this guy with a bag, and of course the other bag with the dry cleaning, I just tried to line them up. Little things like that I noticed, and I try to tie them together and frame this lady right here. I got her with the eating a pizza. Not the most flattering picture, but I thought it was funny. She's got her drink in her hand, and she's uh, concentrating on finishing that pie. <laughs> uh, the corner right here is a good spot I like to go to a lot. There's not a lot of people here, but when there are people crossing and things, I'll just hang out and wait because this light is so good at this time of day. It's like, I think it's around 4 or 5 o'clock. Um, and I see these colorful dresses, and I'm like, oh, I gotta get this. So I'm just trying to separate the people. Caught her in stride, she glanced at me a little bit, gave me a smile. And then I moved on to the next area. There wasn't a lot of people, so it wasn't worried. really worth hanging out. Uh, I'm actually about to cross, and then I hear the uh, the train approaching. Uh, so I, I turn around to the left, and I see another scene happen in front of me. And that's a good thing to point out too: is that I don't wear headphones when I'm shooting. I like to be uh, I like to be aware of what's going on around me, so then I can kind of use all of my senses to get uh, photos. And then also for safety too, if I hear something behind me that I need to scurry or dock or just be. Uh, mindful of what's going on around me, but yeah, I think I think all your senses having them all ready and handy is a, is a powerful thing when you're out there uh, shooting street photography, especially when you're by yourself. This is a spot as well I come to a lot. Uh, I notice these little eyes on this uh, nail salon, and um, I've been here multiple times. I haven't gotten anything really great out of it, but the light was just hitting it, and I just 
I tried to frame something interesting. <clears throat> Catch this guy in the scooter going by with his cool ass helmet. It's just a spot where people just walk by. It's not really an area where people hang out, so it's kind of a tough place to shoot, but I'll always go back to it. I just like the uh, the colors of red and the, and the light that's hitting it. Guy approaching with his umbrella. I don't see many umbrellas in Denver, um, so I'm gonna shoot him. Catch him in the light, it's nothing special, but it's sort of a warm-up shot to something uh, better than I'm hoping to catch. I walk onto this scene with a construction worker here and immediately I know that I can work this scene because this guy's working. Um, but at the same time, I'm trying to look casual and um, <laughs> like, like I'm not really stalking him. So I'm just kind of looking around my surroundings, checking my phone every now and then. Uh, but I keep popping up to see if anything interesting is happening around him. Uh, I'm looking for color relationships, people walking by with the same color as his vest, um, or interesting characters, good gestures. Um, I also noticed this uh, this blue sign uh, that you can't tell right now, but right now I think I grabbed this guy in the, in the, uh, the green yellow shirt here. Just the neon colors I, I thought, thought was interesting. Yeah, there's this, there's this funny little sign used for memories wanted and I see this guy with a matching color walking by and then I just got lucky with a, a other construction worker pointing ahead so that was a nice little moment. <clears throat> it's the little details that make a, <clears throat> make a good photo I believe, you know? Everything comes together at once and uh, patience pays off. You can kind of think about seeing these things ahead of time and then when they do happen <clears throat> you're ready to capture them. <clears throat> Uh, this was an interesting moment. I see this lady in this dress. Actually, I don't think I noticed her yet, but I was walking to the corner and I noticed how good the light was. And then I see her dress light up in the light here. So I went for a detail photo of just the dress and uh, the other lady's dress over here on the left too as well with the shadows. I thought it worked pretty well. I like to get these kind of detail shots every now and then. <clears throat> Every photo doesn't have to have a face in it, but here I, d I do get her face. Uh, she kind of glances over my direction. Just the light was so good, and uh, you know, the colors, I just really was gravitated towards here. <clears throat> hey, man. And look who it is, it's Liam. I actually didn't know this coffee shop existed. I just met him here, and uh, we grabbed a quick caffeine break before we hit the streets again with Carrie. Carrie did a great interview with me and Jack recently. Uh, I'll link to the video. I don't have it on my channel because I didn't make it, but it was a great interview that he did with both of us. And you really get to see our perspective of how we uh, how we see things and how different we are as well. So uh, um, you guys check that out. Um, it might be uh, worth your time. Uh, we're back at Union. I think we done a ba uh, bathroom break or something, and uh, they're doing the mic check. So I see this lady walk by holding her shoes and her cocktail dress. I thought that was a pretty nice moment there. Light was hitting her perfectly, and uh, her mood kind of went with the photo too. Just kind of like tired, get me out of here kind of thing. I thought it was a, it was a cool little moment to catch. Not a whole lot going on. I, I do see this uh, scooter going by with a dad, and uh, I think it's his daughter. Yeah, so when I'm, when I'm not doing the fishing technique, I'm just looking for moments, quick moments to grab, and then I'm usually on to the next location. Um, this spot always looks great. Uh, restaurants and things and outdoor seating, but there's just never really many people on it other than maybe on the weekends. And even then, people just kind of walk by and don't really hang out. Um, I do see the scene with uh, tables and chairs with nice light, so I just grab it, even though there's no people in it. I like to get those kind of scenes anyway. Maybe it'll be uh, useful in a book later on. Uh, by the way, my editing is a little different from the last video. It's a little more natural. Um, I, I've been playing around with the film style, but I think um, I'm going back to the style that I had before uh, for a while, which is just a little more of a, a warmed up uh, ambient light um, approach um, with a little bit of contrast. And uh, it seems to work with every type of situation. So I think I'm going to probably stick with that. But 
who knows. I just missed the hug here. I saw it, ran across. Um, I did still kind of get the uh, the ending part of it. But I, I know that they're walking out, so I'm gonna try to capture them in the light here with, a, with their colorful dressed up outfits with a uh, the flowers. I like how the two gentlemen are both wearing the same color. I'm sorry. <laughs> All the colors beautiful, huh? Flowers and everything. <laughs> uh, the bartender here is wearing a striped shirt that matches the, uh, the bar itself, so I, I grabbed a shot here. Uh, the light was also hitting the scene area. Um, I was waiting for to see some tricks, like in Vegas. <laughs> I think this girl just kind of Hello. said hi. Uh, she, I think she even asked if I was filming or not, and uh, I, I heard her, but I walked on by. It was, it was, it was kind of rude, unfortunately. So <laughs> the lesson is don't be rude. I think I was just stuck in my mind uh, of shooting and wasn't thinking about uh, hanging out. I don't know. It was just an, it's just a poor excuse. So just the lesson is don't be an asshole. <laughs> Um, I do find this scene here with nice color, um, light and shadows. Uh, these flowers are all over the city. And I've never stopped here before, but I just, for some reason, this time I just stopped here and waited for uh, people to uh, enter the scene. Yeah, just need more people. Sorry for the shot of my shoes. It's the action camera on my, uh, strapped to my chest there. <laughs> But yeah, sometimes I'll wait. I mean, the most I think I've waited at a spot is like 15 minutes, which actually is a long time. Um, if I really find it uh, has potential, I will wait it out and hope for something. Especially if there's not much going on, it might be worth it. Um, I got a little more patient during the pandemic. This is kind of what, what I did. I just spotted scenes like this and just waited since there wasn't a lot of people outside. Finally, we get a, a few people crossing here and there on scooters, uh, and I separated these guys nicely. I was pretty happy with that photo with the light. Um, but the one that I really wanted to get, um, I, I wait here because I see them approaching these, these two ladies in uh, summer dresses that are just colorful. Thought it would match up well with the, the flowers in the foreground. So again, I wait and hope to time it right. There they are. You can kind of see in the LCD screen. Didn't quite get the separation that I wanted to. There's the better photo right there, but it still wasn't quite what I was looking for. I was hoping they were going to separate a little bit more, but you know, that's how it goes. Unfortunately, the action camera battery died, but we found the spot where this balloon was tied around this uh, seating area right here. Um, so again, we're doing the fishing technique. We're hoping for some pe interesting people walking through uh, wearing red or complimentary colors. Uh, the first shot that I got was this guy leaning on this pole. Um, it would have been nice if he was wearing Papa Red somewhere, but I thought it was still a pretty interesting photo. Uh, finally, I get this girl with this red pencil skirt walking by, which uh, blends nicely, uh, followed by the gentleman with the blue shirt and red shoes. And then uh, ending with a nice shot here of the bus go that went by with the little red uh, color on it. And then the woman uh, just posed right above the, uh, the hedges there. So uh, it was a nice timing. That'll do it, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'm going to share with you guys a little bit of iPhone footage and some photos I got in the rain. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for the next one. Thank you.